driven by the European forecast center model, but the idea is a general one to two inch rain for us. Fredericksburg, you'll be on the edge of this, but places like Warrington, Manassas, Leesburg, Percival. Let's go camping. Check this out on our other platforms. All right, so we are off. Um, I don't know how you can hear it well. You can hear me over the rain. Um, so, Tropical Storm Nicole is blowing through this area of Virginia right now. And like every sane person, I said, let's go camping. Um, so, right now I'm heading to my family's land. And we're going to do some overlanding and take our truck back in the woods pretty deep and go camping. So this isn't an impromptu trip. I uh, already planned to go camping this weekend because my wife and daughter are at a, are at a cheer competition. But because the rainstorm happened, it, it changed my plans. Um, I was going to do like a bug out with a 72 hour bag and basically just have a tarp and a sleeping bag. Um, but I'm not doing that in this weather. Um, I mean, luckily it is pretty uh, temperature wise. It's uh, 63 degrees right now. It's not supposed to get much colder. So I don't have to worry about, you know, getting too cold. Um, as long as we can stay dry is the trick. Um, so I got my full rain gear. Um, but we don't have a tent. So we're going to see how this works. I, uh, I, I, I had this idea in my head. Um, hopefully it works out. We'll find out very shortly. You got to love daylight savings time. Uh, it's uh, it's only 4:42, and it's hard to see on camera, but it's already pretty dark. All right, we're run, about to run into a store to grab uh, some groceries so we can uh, make dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow. So let's uh, let's go grab our groceries and then we're gonna hopefully get to camp before dark. Um, we still have to drive a little bit through the woods, um, so as long as the trails aren't too bad. We should be arriving at a <clears throat> camp, our campsite before it gets too dark. Um, I have some new gear this time, so I actually have some lights. Um, so even if it's dark, we can still film. Um, my last camping trip, I, I literally just had a GoPro um, and a um, my phone. So this trip. Um, we definitely have uh, upgraded a little bit. I got a light, I have two GoPros, and my phone has a backup this time, so. All right, I'm gonna pull into this grocery store and grab a few things for dinner. <laughs> time we get to the woods it's gonna be dark it's a little bit further and then we'll finally be able to get to the woods so I want to explain what, uh, what overlanding actually is um, 
for those who don't know, I mean, there's a lot of people who know what they are. So overlanding is like backpacking, but if you're lazy and don't like to walk, you'll like it. And it's like car camping, but you don't have to deal with all the people. Uh, so overlanding is you take your full drive, uh, typically completely tricked out full drives. Uh, we're just in an F-150, nothing fancy, with some decent mud tires. And you, you drive, you know, through trails in the middle of nowhere, and you eventually, you set a camp in the middle of nowhere, which is just like backpacking, minus you don't have to walk. Um, and me being a big boy, I don't like to walk. First thing you gotta do when we pull this up, wherever we're camping, is we definitely have to set up our quotations tent uh, because otherwise we would. Oh, we good. Um, otherwise we're gonna be doing all the work in the rain. So yeah, I don't know how good of a uh, of view we are getting because it's so dark. Oh, there's a good deer. Oh, another deer. It's not deer season yet, luckily, so I don't have to deal with the uh, hunters. Alright, so this is going to be the hairy part coming up here. Up here, there's a... Um, past this gate there's a levee that is about the width of my truck and about a 15 foot drop on each side so we're gonna have to go very slow and make sure we don't slide off this levee because that would be bad uh, I don't know if you can see on camera how thin it is but it's uh, it is meant for four wheelers it's not meant for trucks but we are good. Alright. It's not a shocker. It's rained since 1 a.m. this morning. This uh, tropical storm. Nicole has put down a lot of rain. And it's uh, supposed to get worse throughout the night. Well, let's get camp set up. <laughs> it's probably too dark for you to even see. So, um, I'm gonna set up camp right over there in the light. All right, I'm gonna reposition the truck to uh, be under this. I doubt you even can see the goose on top is talking to myself. But maybe you can't see me. All right, I guess you can see me now. Um, so here's our tent. It's uh, just a pop-up canopy. I'm gonna have to adjust a little like that. That we just put, pulled our F-150 under and we have a our overlanding tent. So this thing was supposed to be 10 by 10 and my truck bed, it could six and a half. So I'm guessing this is an eight by eight canopy not a 10 by 10 like I thought it was <laughs> so this is gonna make things a little more difficult um, we'll figure out sleeping later I I'm starving let's make some food this wood is soaking wet so hopefully we can get it going though 
These are just uh, instant fire starters by Durfling, or fire cubes. Tend to work pretty good. I know I'm fat, but ground is so soft right now, the chair is just sinking into the dirt. This is why hot dogs are such a great camping food. You don't need anything. You just need a stick and a heat source, and you can have a hot meal. But you can do the same thing with other meats, like steak or uh, chicken. It doesn't have to be hot dogs. Polarize your table. Alright, let's get the bronze out. Nice having a cooler as a table. So this is the nice thing about overlanding versus backpacking. You don't get to bring things like chairs and other stuff like that. Sorry, I'm adjusting the camera. And so it's not nearly as comfortable. I'm not the only guy that kind of feels bad for the hot dog when you stick it. So uh, I've been flipping between two GoPros. Uh, this is my new one. So I don't know if all the settings are right. So hopefully you're on. Uh, you can still see me good. Let's put it right there. Um, so we're just cooking some dinner. And then we're going to uh, relax by the fire. Still not there how I'm going to sleep considering this thing's not uh, 10 feet like I thought it was. So we'll have to figure that out. All right, dinner time. And it looks a little burnt, but it's not. Yeah, it doesn't look right. That doesn't look bad. Bun's a little big, but it's extra carbs. It's actually uh, clearing up. I'm seeing a few stars. I don't know if it's uh I don't know if it's gonna clear up completely or calm before they more the storm. Well, I spoke too soon. It's starting to rain again. Clouds start moving back in, so I don't, I don't see any stars anymore. Um, I mean, I'm staying pretty dry under here, so I'm, hopefully it works out tonight. Um, don't know. Uh, for the record, I've never tested this. This is something I just thought up a couple nights ago. Uh, when I saw it was supposed to rain tonight. So, let's hope it goes good. All right. Second brought. The rolls are too long.
Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, I was seeing these little yellow things in it, and I was like, thinking that's weird. There's cheddar in the Bronx. No wonder they're so good. Go to the last bite. Ooh. Oh. I just thought about it. My cooler's here. The front of that cooler is scalding hot because it was against the fire. It didn't like it melts any, but that didn't bad. All right, time for dessert. Old fashioned pecan pie. It's almost Thanksgiving. Doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> it's definitely not a homemade pecan pie. Ah, smoking my eyes. Smoking my eyes. Oh. I promise the tears is from the smoke, not from the pie. Ah, just sit back by the fire. Enjoy the night. All right, let me show you my plan for sleeping tonight. So I have a cot. That I think should fit just right here. But I was really planning on the um, tarp to be 10 feet. I don't know if it's going to stretch out far enough. like it's gonna work um, as long as the rain doesn't start blowing in sideways I think we'll be good so you got the tarp up above and you have some air gap but uh, I think it should be fine but there's only one way to find out and that's try it out so we'll see how that works tonight Starting to clear up again. I think it's um, maybe it's blown over. I don't know. I see a planet. It's uh, south of me. Somebody knows what you um, what planet you can see in northern Virginia, facing south on October 11th, 2023. Let me know. Just looked up the weather. Ah, oh, I got smoke in my eyes again. Um, and it's, it's supposed to clear up a little bit, but um, more rain's supposed to hit in about an hour. Um, and it's uh, it's almost 7. Um, but from really 8 to 11 o'clock, it's supposed to just pour. And, gosh, smoke. Ah! Um, and uh, it's supposed to clear up by 1, though, so... I know I'm pretty far inland, but uh, so far the tropical storms, you know, it rained all day, but um, it's not too bad. Of course, now that I said that, still can watch the fire, though. I, I'm actually really liking this setup. Um, I, I kind of want to find uh, sides for the canopy. That way I can close off the side behind me and the side on, um, 
on the left of me right here. And then I would only have the open side to the fire and then the side the truck pulls in and then it basically would be almost a completely enclosed structure. That'd be pretty awesome. And, and if you're wondering, so it, it's winter, so there's not a lot of bugs. So a lot of people are probably thinking this would not work for a summer shelter. Um, but what I was kind of thinking is just hanging a mosquito net from up there and just have a mosquito net over you. And, and then it's, it'll work in the summer too. Well, I'm gonna go back to enjoying the fire and listen to the raindrops. T-Rex socks on for luck. Oh, let's get these rain pants off. Ah, that's better. Ah, oh, the sun! So bright! So I'm just relaxing, listening to the fire and the raindrops. It's only 7.30, so. The wind is uh, starting to pick up and I'm seeing some flashes from lightning. So I guess the uh, the storm's blowing in. Oh, there's some thunder. <coughs> so I'm trying to get some sleep. Hopefully you won't see me till morning. If you do, that means it's gotten worse. starting to rain hard again and the wind's starting to blow hard. I don't know if you could see, there was just uh, lightning flashing. So, storm's starting to blow in. It's supposed to blow over by like 11. Well, the rain is here. So far, I'm staying dry though. Um, every once I feel a, um, a raindrop above me, but it's nothing major. So, it, it's working so far. Uh, let's hope the, the wind doesn't pick up and the rain starts blowing in sideways. morning uh, last night was really rough um, so shortly after the, uh, the clip I did with you um, it just started pouring more and I learned a few things 
first thing I learned was that my canopy is not waterproof. Um, I started getting dripped on really bad. And my down bag was starting to get dripped on really bad. So I was getting really wet and um, I... That's not fun. So that comes to number two. Sometimes it's better to be smart than tough. What I mean by that is, I didn't have to stay out here. So, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I, I headed home and uh, got a good night's sleep at home. I, I could have bear grilled this and um, acted like I stayed out all night and pretended and I, I'm not gonna do that. I have no reason to lie to y'all. But, you know, what this was was a good learning experience. I was trying to make a very easy minimalist overlanding setup and what I chose didn't work. So I think the big takeaway from this uh, experience is I need a better overlanding option for my truck. Which I think I already found it. But y'all are going to have to wait till next video. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, like and subscribe, it helps the channel immensely. And as always, I'll see you next time. Check us out on the other platforms. There's no coffee in this.